Hello everyone and welcome to my channel! Today I'm gonna be talking about skin and hair care for a long haired Syrian hamster. I've talked a little bit about this in what I feed my Syrian hamster, uh, which a video I was made. And I'll link that video that I made down below, so go watch that if you want to. Things I'm gonna be recommending is mostly for a long haired Syrian male because the long haired Syrian females don't actually get long hair, it's only the males. It's really good to give the females these things too, but it's just really important that you're giving your male it. You should always give your male a lot of omegas, and that is kind of what I'm going to be talking about in this video, and other care for them in general. And when it's a long haired Syrian female, you don't have to give it this to them, but I recommend that you do. You don't have to give this to your male either, but it would be really great if you gave it to them. I really recommend it because it would help with the skin irritation and the dandruff. So it's generally just a good thing to give both to a long-haired female and male Syrian hamster. But the males need it the most because they have the long hair and when they have the long hair they have more skin and hair issues than females do. And the females aren't, they don't really get long hair like the males, but they're still called long hair for some reason. First of all, it's really important that they give omegas, omega-3 and 6, both from plant-based and animal-based sources. And I use an oil, and I'll leave a photo of it up here. And this oil is recommended by Vets, Vets that know something about hamster care and how to treat hamsters. So I would recommend that you ask the vet near you that knows how to treat hamsters which kind of oil would be great to give a long haired Syrian male just to help um, the little guy with his skin and hair and to keep it nice and not really irritated and without dandruff. Then I give him a couple of drops of this oil and some oil meal that is just made by water and oats and I give him this a couple of times a week. And it has really helped with his dandruff problems. Usually, Syrian males they can really easily get problems with dandruff when they get older. But if they have a lot of dandruff, it's really important that you know how to tell if it's just an irritation or it might be something like little creatures living off the, your hamster skin. So if you're unsure and your hamster has a lot of dandruff, take it to the vet. Because it can also be a lot of other problems than just skin irritation. So I would always recommend that. And I give him nuts and seeds for omegas. And the nuts and seeds I give personally is flax seeds, pumping, pumpkin seeds, walnuts and pine nuts. The last omegas you get is through cat food. It's important that the cat food you get is something again you have gotten recommended by people in your country that knows a lot about hamster care because it's really important that there aren't things like corn and a lot of salt in the cat food that you're giving your hamster. If you're giving your hamster cat food for extra protein, that's of course something you yourself have to decide if you want to, but there's, there's extra protein and some fish omegas in the cat food I give him. And then you of course also have to comb your long-haired hamster because stuff like poop and bedding will get stuck in their coat when they're long-haired so you have to comb them. And I'll show you a picture of the comb I use right here. And sometimes if the hamster has a little dreadlock that was, um, which is a piece of or pieces of fur that's kind of stuck together and you can't comb them out then I usually just cut it off with a, a scissor that was actually what I want to say so this was a short video but I hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of it I'll see you soon remember to comment, like and subscribe if you like the content I make